Finally got my unemployment shit in the mail. In all seriousness, it's only been a week, and I know the system is strained, so it's nice to see that ball rolling. Day 9, still symptom-free. I checked the CDC numbers today, and they are depressing. A week ago, we were at 4,200 cases, and today we are at over 44,000. Way to flatten the curve, America. Went to Target. They have their priorities in order. It still kind of looks like the set of a disaster movie. People do know there are other places to buy food, right? Another one to file under This Would Never Get Made Today. We watch Big Trouble in Little China. How you feel about this movie probably depends on whether you watched it growing up. Personally, I love it, but it would definitely never get made today. Still waiting for that sequel, though. Going through the liquor wall, I found another thing I forgot I had, so get ready for volume two of You Can't Get It Here. Before I revisit this bottle, you should get something to drink, too. Go ahead. I'll wait. This is Inner Circle Rum from Australia. There are four expressions, red dot, blue dot, green dot, and black dot. Obviously, this is the red dot. I've been trying to get my hands on a bottle of the green dot for years, but haven't been able to, despite having multiple people in Australia look. I got this bottle at a liquor store not far from here. I have no idea how they got it, and I've never seen it since. It's been years since I had this, and I'm excited to try it again. Oh yeah, this is going to be dry. Uh, if you're a rum nerd and you're familiar with the um, Jamaican or Navy styles, then the odor of this will definitely be familiar to you. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Super dry. Uh, a lot smoother than I thought, not the burn that I was expecting. This is actually a great example of the art of distillation versus just adding shit to things. When people say that rum tastes like maple syrup, it's probably a bad sign. When I say that this has maple syrup notes, uh, it means that the flavor is there without the sugar. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if it doesn't, buy a bottle of Smith & Cross and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, Being only 80 proof, I probably wouldn't mix this. I would probably stick to drinking it neat. I'm afraid that the some of the flavors would get lost if it met with too many other ingredients, but it sure is tasty. I have had the Blue Dot. Uh, I can't say that I really remember what it tasted like, so I can't make a comparison. The one time I had it, I was already kind of messed up. Yeah, this is a great everyday rum. Too bad you can't get it here. That's it for today. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Yum, yum, yum.